Hello, beautiful people. I am super excited to let you know that yesterday I went up to Denver and picked up my carbon fiber leg. Try smiling. <laughs> Not staring at the ground. <laughs> Look at you, Jordan. Your new carbon fiber rocket leg. Finally have a carbon fiber rocket leg. See? It's uh, super shiny and pretty and is going to be um, so much lighter than the plastic one I was wearing before. Now, I got to design this one. It is not super white on the inside, but it is enough so that I'll be able to put the sayings in there like I was talking about. It smells super nice. I'll try not to inhale the fumes too much. But um, I am actually getting re ready to leave on my first trip as an amputee today, and so I am struggling. Finishing packing and trying to think of all the things that I will need to bring. I understand that I'll need to leave a little bit early to get through airport security with this bad boy in case airport security doesn't like a metallic leg. Um, I will definitely be bringing my crutches still because I cannot walk full time on this leg. Um, I am able to walk on it a lot more than I thought I would be. It's a lot more comfortable than like the thick plastic leg I had before. And I thought I would walk you through extra things that I'm packing for the trip. Um, it's only a 40 trip to the best place on earth. I know you're thinking like Disneyland, Harris, the Bahamas, Indiana. Um, some of my best friends live there and so I'm just so excited that Brian's taking me away and we're gonna go get away from reality for a little while, which seems a little bit necessary right now. So I'm hoping that I'm remembering to bring everything because once I'm gone, I'm gone. One thing I'm definitely bringing with me is a lot of socks. These are which you put on the end of your leg as it changes shape throughout the day. These are all different sizes. It's kind of annoying to stop and change socks throughout the day because it's like a process to put my leg on and off. I know that I'll get faster as it used to my leg. Um, I'm bringing electrical tape because things are so advanced that there are actual pieces of my leg that are just electrical tape. So we bring extra tape just in case anything needs to be taped up. Also, piece of a hose because there's a vacuum pump working this leg and how it actually sticks on to my leg. And so they gave me some extra hose just in case anything happens. We can use these guys in conjunction to stick me back together. When I took final delivery of my leg, they had me sign for like the full amount, even though insurance helps out uh, a lot. This is why you have insurance, guys. Because this is an almost $17,000 leg without any help from insurance. So, 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 so. So insanely grateful. I do not have to pay for that by myself. So thank God for good insurance. <laughs> I think I'll uh, keep this as a memento of a token of my gratefulness. And I am super glad I went through this with you guys because I did not pack something. I am probably most nervous to get through like the first flight because I'll be wearing my leg for, let's see here, probably like six hours straight and the longest I've done so far is like three. So it's not like I can't take it off mid plane ride, but how weird would you feel if you were sitting next to someone and they just like, like, ugh, yanked their leg off? I just don't wanna make, I don't wanna traumatize someone like that. So I'll definitely be keeping it on on the plane and hopefully make it to Indiana without too much pain. Just realized I'm missing something else. Hmm, one sec. <laughs> That's fun. It's weird, there was another, ugh. There are these cool things in this cool bag that I could put in the bottom of my leg if it felt like it was like, if I needed to get higher. I'll find them somewhere. In any case, I have to go get ready for my cousin's 40th birthday party up in Denver. She's having a Roaring Twenties party. In case it didn't appear this way, Brian and I are not really costume people, but I'm very excited to be celebrating with her. So I'm gonna get dressed up as a 20s flapper girl. Not a super elaborate costume, but at least I gotta look pretty for a day. You know, feel pretty. And uh, Brian is going to wear a bowler hat. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, so minimal effort into our costumes, but maximum effort into celebrating my dear cousin. So we're gonna head up there, have some fun, and get on a plane the next morning and head out to Indiana and cross my fingers. TSA does not have an issue with this leg. Uh -huh. I found it. Okay, okay, so there are these little pieces that you can put in the bottom of your leg. You like drop them in the top. You just pop this in the top of your leg and it gives you like that much more lift if you feel like you're sinking down too much. So that was the last, I don't actually want this in there. That was the last piece I needed to figure out to bring. And I think I'm set, guys. Uh, we're just arriving at the airport and ready to get my first flight with my handy dandy new leg, which I've discovered is a terrible idea to try to put it on the car. But hopefully TSA will let me through with it. 
this handsome man over here has been fabulous at getting me in and out of the hotel thus far with it. Uh, everything does indeed take 10 times longer when you're trying to walk with a metal leg.